today I'll be covering a very interesting topic from Pharma Pharmacy, which is volatile oil and particularly the preparation of volatile oils. Volatile oils, you must be knowing, are the plant constituents which are, because of their chemical nature, they evaporate upon exposure to dry air and uh, sunlight. And as such, they are known as volatile oil or essential oils. Now, coming to the preparation part, the volatile oils can be prepared by three methods, namely distillation method, <laughs> number two, expression method, and lastly, extraction methods. Distillation method is uh, again of three types, water distillation, water and steam distillation, and steam distillation, simply steam distillation directly. The expression method, it is basically of three types, the sponge method, the acute method, and the machine method. And lastly, uh, the extraction method, which is simply a single step process. Okay, now coming to the distillation method. In water distillation, only water is used uh, over the plant, like in case of uh, turpentine oil. Water and steam distillation, <coughs> the distillation is done by water and both steam, the steam which is passed through the water in which the plant is kept, and the extract is uh, distillate is collected and the volatile oil is separated. Like for example, clove and uh, serum. And lastly, a steam distillation in which the drug material, directly the steam is passed through the drug material and the volatile uh, oil is collected and separated uh, uh, from the distillate. Now, for example, peppermint and spearmint. Now, expression method. The expression method is basically a non-heat method. In this, like uh, there are two, uh, three methods, the spawn method, equal method and machine method. In the spawn method, what happens that the rind of the fruit from which the oil is collected is separated and the rind is then <coughs> placed in water and then it is <coughs> squeezed in placing in between the palms and after squeezing you can obtain the oil uh, liquid liquid portion in a power container below. This container can again be transferred to another bigger container and from there the volatile oil can be separated. The next method that is the equal method. In equal method there is a hollow container and in this the rind of the fruit is uh, dropped and the surface of the container, the inside surface of the container, it consists of spikes. These spikes yeah, and it is the <coughs> container is rotated. What happens? The spikes they puncture the volatile oil cells and the volatile oil executes out. This uh, excluded volatile oil gets collected in another portion of that container which can be later collected and separated and get the volatile oil. Then coming to the last method, the extraction method. Extraction method is again where heat is not favorable for the volatile oil, whether volatile oil may be decomposed by heat. In that case or otherwise if it is present in very very minute quantities that the commercial <coughs> extraction is rather impractical. In that case what happens, we use form of solution or absorption method. Like we can take in case <coughs> it is known as percolation, maceration, digestion and in this different solvent is used which is immiscible or an n or a solvent ether petroleum is used and it is uh, the volatile oil is extracted in, into that particular liquid and it can be separated out and the volatile oil can then be separated from that uh, mixture. So this was the extraction methods. So in short <coughs> students we covered three methods of getting volatile oil from the nature and I hope you like this channel and if you wish to subscribe you can click on the given link below. And I'll be happy to answer any queries or comments if you have. Thank you.